Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 3, Lesson 5, Problem Set. So we'll take a look at a few questions here to help out. Uh, question number one, read each description carefully and write an equation that represents the description. So if I look at A, it says the opposite of negative 7. So I know that I'm starting with a negative 7. And I know when I do the opposite, I'm going to put another negative there as well to show there's what I started with, there's the opposite. What does that equal? The opposite of negative 7 is a positive 7. And I see I have two negative signs there that'll, that'll kind of cancel each other out. So the opposite of negative 7 will equal 7. If I take a look down at C, the opposite of 15, and I'm going to put it in parentheses to show that that's what I started with. The opposite is a negative there, so really I'm left with negative 15 as my opposite. So whenever I put down an opposite, I'm going to put a negative sign down just to help myself remember that. So I'm going to move down to... Question two, and I'm going to look at part B. Uh, we want to look at the relationship between the points. Uh, so write the relationship between the points. P and K. If I look up here, here's P. I see it's one, two, three. Jumps away from zero to the right. And K is one, two, three. Jumps away from zero to the left. So they're the same distance from zero on opposite sides. That's going to make them opposites. Now if I look at K and Q, here's K, here's Q, and it's actually the same thing. So K is 1, 2, 3 away, and Q is 1, 2, 3 away on opposite sides. So that's going to make them opposites as well. Now I'm going to look at my last one, P and Q. P is right here. I can see it. And Q is right there as well. So there's two different ways to look at this one. Um, they could be the same because they're pointed at three or three jumps away. So they're at the same location. They are the same. They could also be considered opposites of the opposite. And what I mean is if P is the starting point and it's 3, the opposite is negative 3. And the opposite of the opposite is back to 3. So really they're the same, but they could be opposite of the opposite. Um, Let's take a look down uh, at the very last one, number four. And I'll do a few of these ones as we go through. Write the integer that represents the statement. Locate and label each point on the number line below. So let's take a look at letter A. And it says the opposite of a gain of six. So... A gain of 6 in itself is going to be a positive 6 because I know that's an increase of 6, so it's a positive integer. The opposite of that is going to be a negative 6, meaning the gain of 6 is 6 jumps or 6 tick marks to the right of 0, so the opposite is 6 tick marks to the left. Now it says that I have to locate and label each point on the number line below. When I take a look at my number line, I'll do this in black, just so any colors you'll be able to see. I'm going to start with 0. Um, and just so I can fit everything in, I'm going to do a scale of 2. Because I know i got to go up to 10. I see that for B and C. So negative 2, 4, negative 6, 8, and negative 10. And if I need to go out further, I will. Uh, but to go back to this one, so I've got to plot the statement, the opposite of a gain of 6, which is, I know, negative 6. So I'm going to circle and plot right here at negative 6 and mark that A. 
I'm going to go ahead and do uh, letter D, the opposite of the opposite of 4. So I'm starting with 4. The opposite is negative 4. And the opposite of the opposite is 4. So I started with positive 4. So I was right here. The opposite of that is the same distance away. So that's the opposite. And then I'm going to find the opposite of this number, which sends me back to 4. So it's going to be right here at a positive 4. And I'll mark that with D. Hope this helps, and good luck on your homework.